and welcome to the 525th Expeditionary Military Intelligence Brigade YouTube channel. On this channel, we're going to be doing a series of documentaries about military intelligence and its evolution through history, from the Revolutionary War all the way through to the War on Terror. And with February being Black History Month, this gives us the perfect opportunity to start off the channel and showcase the achievements of African Americans in military intelligence gathering from the Revolutionary War all the way through the War on Terror. Now, this is going to be our first story, and it tells the tale of James Armistead, also known as James Armistead Lafayette, and how his efforts during the Revolutionary War helped the original 13 colonies defeat Great Britain and become the United States of America. James Armistead was an African-American spy during the American Revolution. Born in Virginia as a slave to William Armistead in 1760, he volunteered to join the army in 1781. Armistead eventually was stationed to serve under the Marquis de Lafayette, the commander of French forces allied with the American Continental Army. Lafayette employed Armistead as a spy, and while working for Lafayette, he successfully infiltrated British General Charles Cornwallis' headquarters posing as a runaway slave, and he was subsequently hired by the British as a guide and also to spy on the Americans. Armistead often traveled between camps, spying on British officers who spoke openly about their strategies. Armistead documented information in written reports, delivered them to other American spies, and then returned to General Cornwallis' camp. Lafayette sent several spies to infiltrate Cornwallis' camp, yet none proved able to produce the amount of valued information like Armistead. The information in these reports helped Lafayette trap the British at Hampton. To discourage local British troops from being diverted to Yorktown, he also passed disinformation about non-existent continental forces, cleverly prepared in Lafayette's own handwriting for the British to recognize. That ploy, along with Washington's own efforts to deceive the British forces in New York City, effectively deterred the British from relieving or reinforcing the besieged garrison at Yorktown. Armistead's reports helped the Americans win the battle at Yorktown, prompting the British surrender. After the Revolution, Lafayette praised Armistead for his dedication and instrumental role in the surrender at Yorktown. Armistead would later make Lafayette his last name, in honor of the general. It's quite the story, isn't it? The story of James Armistead Lafayette is just one of many throughout history where people were willing to place their lives on the line in order to bring military intelligence to where it could best be used. Tune in next week as we tell the story of Harriet Tubman and how she established her own spy network during the Civil War and also became one of the first women in American military history to lead a raid. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Captain Ryan Miller of the 525th Expeditionary Military Intelligence Brigade. Thank you for watching and please keep tuning in.